What's up, everybody? HTG Brian here. We are back live. This time, Back to the Future. That's right. We're going to go back in time. Ba -da -da -da. All right. So here's the deal. This game is super old. I've been getting a lot of questions uh, on our social media regarding this. You know, like, wait a minute. You're going to play Back to the Future? What, what, where can I get that? What is it? Unfortunately, this is very much like the Minecraft story mode. There may be some physical copies of this floating around that you might be able to obtain. I'm not even 100% sure that there was a physical copy, but that would be the main way that you could get this, unless somehow, some way, you had purchased this or obtained it digitally long ago. That's the reason I was able to get it, is because long ago, I do think this was a PSN Plus game at one point. I think like four or five years ago, this could have been one of the PS freebies. I might be wrong on that. I may have purchased this. Either way, if you don't got it now, ugh, it's gonna be really hard to track down. But the good news is, we'll get to play through this together. We'll get to enjoy it. Uh, there are 61 or 62 trophies in this game, and I believe 36 of them, I think is what Gary told me, were missable. Thir so over half of these trophies are missable too. So. Uh, I've taken some advice from some people in the chat, and I've looked up a great guide. I actually went to PlayStationTrophies.org, and I found a good uh, get to, uh, get together, a good guide and trophy map uh, put together for uh, who was it? Uh, boy, I wish I could remember the buddy's name. I'll have to come up with the name and put it down below. Uh, looks like Jay's coming through with some info. Physical copy on PS3 and PS4. So there is still hope if you're trying to track this down. Uh, speaking of tracking it down, let me back up. Let me pump the brakes or uh, get it up to 88 miles an hour and go back a little bit here and say uh, what up to some people's hanging out early on the premiere page. Uh, in fact, Paige seems to be the second one today. What's up, Paige? Mark was shortly after that. Brian Park shortly after that. Uh, we got Ross the Boss. Mark, oh hi Mark, uh, let's see here, Kenneth was here early as well, dropping some puns regarding uh, Back to the Future, that's right, it's about time, uh, let's see here, Loki, dropping 88 miles an hour, Josiah, what's up, Batman fan, hello, hello, oh yeah, you've been dying very, very slowly, I think we all are, in our own way, at our own pace, uh, welcome to the stream though, uh, let's see here, who else, Charles, Chicken Speed Pexter, what up? Uh, everything good on the stream too, quality good. Uh, you know, family's here, you know, Netflix and other thing, work stuff's happening downstairs right now, so, uh, you know, just let me know what's up and uh, if there is any issues with uh, sound or anything like that. Iron Minion, what's up? Uh, let's see here, I'm getting closer to the bottom here. The Gamer 2018, welcome back. Uh, Michael, what's up, dude? Ice Eagle, hello. Jay, this is my favorite Telltale series played through. Wow, you, you, your replayability, you're like the replayability king, Jay. Like, I, you know, I can't do it. I, once I get it done, I am out of there, man. Like, you know, I love games and I like to talk, like even SOCOM. Like I've got the SOCOM one and two right here. I've got a PS2 that works. It's been like 10 or 15 years since I've played the campaigns, which I really loved back in the day. I really loved them. But I just, I think they're so primitive. I, I don't know if I can handle them now. But that may be something that's in our future. That may be a future stream day. Like, we might do, like, SOCOM Saturdays for a few months or something like that. We, we've been thinking about it. We've been thinking about it. Uh, let's see here. Keeping on with the list here. I haven't caught up. We actually have quite a few showing up today. A lot of people are interested to check out this Back to the Future game. I'm excited to check it out with you guys. Uh, you know, hopefully we'll break a milestone today. We, we've never had more than 50 people at one time in the stream. So I'm going to hit that Twitter machine button. Hopefully we'll get a few people on the Twitter side notified, and they'll come and jump in and uh, add to the list. If you guys got some friends or family, make sure you click that like and share it so that we can get this out to as many people as possible. Because, uh, you know, although we could hop in our DeLorean when this is all over and done with and come back and repeat it all, one, one time. One time. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Hopefully hopefully we'll uh, we'll hit that. We're up to 38. Woot! All right, so uh, keeping on with the list here. We got I Am Demon. What's up? Awesome to see you doing Back to the Future. Thanks. Uh, we got lots going on. Loki, you and I will have a chat at some point. No, essentially, just so you know and anybody else that's curious about it, um, as everybody is pretty aware, Nick... Uh, ha has had real life stuff come up. He is not nearly as available as he once was, um, you know, due to uh, just other responsibilities. So 
we have kind of an opening right now. Nick Nick isn't gone. We haven't let him go. He hasn't quit. He's just got other stuff going on right now. But we would like to maybe add one more moderator. Duties are pretty slim. Not a lot of expectations. Uh, but we but, but there was just a few things I wanted to talk to you about, Loki. I know that your availability is kind of come and go and i know you got summer school and stuff too uh you know and, and of course we want to make sure that like you know anything you're doing is okay with your parents and stuff too because you are you know you, you're not your own dude yet you are your own dude but you know what i'm saying uh, i don't want to rumple any feathers or get in trouble for uh you know that kind of stuff so uh let's see here felipe what's up will hello crappy well dins you're back matt what's up rob hello uh, let's see here. Michael says, I am two hours behind, so you must be either Central, Central, right, Texas, or somewhere in there. Mon Mon not, not Montana. Montana would still be West. Uh, let's see here. Uh, to me, this is the fourth movie, and it's so good. So, uh, I I've never, I, I played, like, the first episode very, very quickly on, uh, PS3 when it first came out back in 2010. Um, I, I didn't get very far. I was actually kind of frustrated with the mechanics, like, at the time, games were action-packed, bouncy, boingy, and, and this one was, like, really slow, and I, I'm ready for that this time, and, and I got you guys to help me, and I also got this guide. That's right, I printed out a bunch of stuff. Normally, Gary's in my ear to guide me, but Gary has PT, so uh, for those of you who don't know, Gary broke his leg a while back. Uh, he's in the final stages of physical therapy. In fact, Friday is his last known appointment now on friday if something doesn't go right they may add one or two next week but as it sits right now he should be kind of graduating or being promoted from his physical therapy uh, on friday and thus he'll be around to to guide me and do all the stuff that i need him to do that he's awesome for helping me out on so shout out to gary for being awesome uh let's see here quentin what's up uh, in kansas ah that was close uh let's see here sarcastic wolf so I have a, a mod experience. What what's what what do you mean? What what's the uh, I mod for? Oh, BPGR, BPGR, BPGR. Why I know that, but why can't I think of what it is? Uh, BP blah, 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 blah. forty. We're at forty. Woo! Uh, let's see here. Uh, One oh seven for you. Nice. It's only ten oh seven in the morning for me. Let's see. The message in the top left corner. Me too. What what's what is it? What what are we seeing? A mod experience in the top left corner. What? You seen the message I received? Is that what you're talking about? Or what are we talking about? Have you watched all the movies? Oh, yes. I am a huge... If there's any, like, trilogy or movie series that I am, like, diehard fan of, it, it's this. And, you know, I, I missed an opportunity. I'm just now thinking. I had a pretty cool shirt. In fact, I can, I can bust it out. I'll show it to you guys. Um, some of you guys have seen this before. This is an old Loot Crate shirt. In fact, randomly... This was the very first Loot Crate t-shirt I ever got. Um, and, and I covet this shirt. Like, I got this probably four, no, probably five or six years ago now because I haven't been a Loot Crate subscriber for a couple of years and I was a subscriber for five, four or five years. Um, this right here, though, probably one of my favorite t-shirts of all time. You guys have seen it before, I'm sure. But I should have busted it out and worn it today. So check it out. It's Time Traveler Marty McPrime. And if I can get it right, there we go. How awesome is that? It's the DeLorean that transforms Marty McPrime. So, uh, yeah, I'm a huge fan. Uh, you know, Back to the Future Day, I, I watch every year. I got the trilogy on Blu-ray. Uh, I generally watch it. Hey, what's up there, Kieran? Welcome to the channel. Thanks for the sub. Hopefully you enjoy our content. Um, but, yeah, so, anyways, I'm a huge fan. I'm very excited to play through this. Now, this walkthrough I have... It's literally step by step what I'm supposed to do. I'm hoping I can't mess this up. <laughs> so as I mentioned, there are a bunch of trophies, like 61, I believe. Uh, 60 and then the platinum, I think is how it works. Uh, but I, And I think the 36 of them or something like that are, are missable. So um, let's go ahead and cross our fingers and hope that I don't miss anything. All right, so a bunch of people showed up and then bounced. I wonder what's up with that. Hopefully those numbers will jump back in. Let's see here. Paige says she has a cold. The throat is actually hurting. Oh, no. I'm sorry to hear that, Paige. Hopefully they got some sort of medicine around that uh, can help you out with that. Let's see here. All right. What's up? Oh, snap. We got another sub coming in. Rolando. What's up? Thanks for the sub. Welcome to the channel. We're about to go back to the future. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, wait. That's what I want, huh? Gonna go back in time. 
too. Oh, interesting. Hey, Jay, what's this video? Cole, what's up? Welcome to the stream. Jay, if you have any info on that video, I would greatly appreciate it. I'm assuming it's probably like a making of or just like a... I just don't know if I should watch it now or later or if maybe it's just not worth watching. Any info on that would be greatly appreciated. Let's go ahead and jump into It's About Time. Now, it looks like I've got a couple dialogue uh, situations here, and I have to answer these correctly in order to get the first trophy. So we're going to get a trophy like right off the bat, but it's easily missed. So... JP Penny. <laughs> All right, so new game episode list. So there's apparently different spots I can jump in. Hmm. Hmm. It's behind the scenes. All right, thank you, Jay. Uh, the God of Mischief. Oh, you guys are still talking about Loki, huh? <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's go. Don't forget to uh, click that like button, yo. Before we begin, would you like to see notifications when Marty has a new goal? Yes, I am a noob, and I very much need as much help as I can get. So let's go ahead and... Starring Telltale Games. All right, I'm ready. All right, I'm ready. Me too. Good evening. Good evening. I'm Dr. 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 Emmett Brown. Ooh, we got an echo. Sorry about that. A twin pines small. It's Saturday morning, October 26th, 1985, 1.18 a.m., and this is temporal experiment number one. Come on, Ainy. Hey, boy, get in there. That Thanks for the advice, Jay. I'll stay away. Bar. Get down. Get your seatbelt on. That's it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Please note that Einstein's clock is in precise synchronization with my control watch. Got it? Right. Check, Doc. Good. Have a good trip, Einstein. Watch your head. You got that thing hooked up to the car? Vroom, vroom. Watch this. All right, so this is com coming up my first opportunity. Now, this is directly from the movie. Well, sort of, not directly, but a recreation of the movie, right? Not me. The car. The car. So, so in the movie, there's a couple of lines that are used, and we're having to recreate those right now in order to um, uh, get this first trophy. Now, I haven't done a lot of research beyond this, so when this baby hits hopefully we'll get this. Hour, you're going to see some serious... Whoa! Stuff. Language! Language! Come on, Doc! Straight from the movie, though. It, it is. Watch this. Watch this. Boom. How do I how do I select it? <laughs> what did I tell you? How, how do I select it? What? The temporal displacement occurred at exactly one twenty a.m. and zero seconds. I can't. It's like not. <laughs> What's going on? There we go. That was weird. Oh, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, Doc. He disintegrated Einstein. Come down, Marty. Kay. I didn't disintegrate anything. The molecular structure of both Einstein and the car are completely intact. Well, where the hell are they? The appropriate question is, when the hell are they? You see, Einstein has just become the world's first time traveler. I sent him into the future. One minute into the future, to be exact, and at precisely 1.21 a.m. and zero seconds, we shall catch up with him and the time machine. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Doc. Are you telling me that you built the time machine? Out of a DeLorean? The way I see it, if you're going to build a time machine into a car, why not do it with some style? That's right, with some style. The stainless steel construction made the flush dispersal. Look out! So I still haven't got the trophy. That's weird. Uh, Doc? Oh, that's peculiar. Uh, where's the car, Doc? It should have caught up with us 27 seconds ago. Doc, uh, what happened to Einstein? No need for concern. It's probably just a minor miscalibration of the time circuit. Marty, could you get my notebook? It should be in the Probably box. two. I, I like two. Uh, one is good, too, but... There it is! Woot! Alright, so I have to uh, walk on over to Doc's van now. 
we can talk to him. Let's look. So is that hints? Is that what the triangle is? R3 gives me... Okay, so we gotta go... It says to Doc's van. I wouldn't say this is Doc's van. Toolbox. Seal container. Okay. Notebook. Notebook. Interact with the toolbox. Got it. Dialog. Doc. Annie. Flux capacitor? That's it! What the heck's a flux capacitor? My latest invention. The thing that makes time travel possible. Okay, trophy spot on a delay. This notebook Good to know. I detail the nearly three decades of scientific breakthroughs necessary to build a working time machine. If it ever fell into the wrong hands, the consequences could be catastrophic. Let's see. It's mass equals I times C, and E equals the square root of Z times C squared. And the flux dispersal rate is inversely proportional to the fourth root of N, carry the nine. Yeah, ben. something's way off here. You've never seen the movies, Felipe? Ooh. You got something to do this weekend. This this will blow your mind. These movies are amazing. Three movies, and they jump from time to time, and they all interlap uh, and overlap back? and interlock, and it's awesome. When I was a kid, these movies were brand new, and Great oh, man, Scott. they were so awesome. What? You could see, you could see through this. <laughs> Did you see that? That was a bright light. Oh, that's Doc. why. That makes sense. Doc, no. So it is different. I'm sorry, it buddy. is different. So this is cool. Doc, come back. Part of me Doc. is bummed out that I don't get to play the movies. Doc. But part of me is really excited that, like Jay said, this is kind of like a fourth movie. This is like a, a new. Buddy, yes, weird science. Is everything <laughs> okay? Yeah, mom. I it was. It was just a nightmare. Uh, I was in the past. Doc was there. Well, you're safe and sound now. Back in good old 1986. What? But you'd better get up. Your father's waiting for you. Huh? 86, huh? Weren't you going to meet him over at Doc's? Holy crap. I'm late. Yes. Hey, what's up, Kemali? I watched every movie. They are the best. I've... Yes, they are amazing. I really recommend. If you guys have not seen these movies, I cannot recommend enough. You guys definitely need to see these movies. Seriously. Um, definitely worth it. Oh! That wasn't supposed to happen. We got some boo boos on the old stream deck going here. <laughs> uh. Oh, man. I'll have to fix that later. Actually, we got a little bit of time, it looks like. Let me see what it says. Uh, see, that's, that's wrong. I pushed a button that... Uh, huh. Huh. Oh, I know why. <laughs> All right. I fixed it. That was actually my bad. Michael, what's up? Yeah, I'm wondering, uh, I wonder how the soundtrack will affect, uh, the overall, like, monetization, Dad, copyright stuff. The... That might Sale? be an issue. Never Better really thought about never. that. You wouldn't believe how much rare stuff there is back here. That's Doc stuff. The city has no right nice now. Now, son, <laughs> I know you're upset, but your friend's been gone for months, and the city really seems hell-bent on using his land for that new parking garage, and... Hey, is that a first edition Jules Verne? It's just not fair. So, real quick, I want to see if I can uh, try something. I do want to... Uh, so there's no no options to take the uh, music out. Um, ooh, hint levels. Through the roof, yo! No, we'll, we'll keep it how it was. Oh, Santa Volley, yeah! Alright, so I, the music is awesome. I love it. Uh, but if there is any copyrights or anything, I want to make sure that we try to avoid those as best as possible. We might have already flagged some. I don't have any warnings or anything yet, so that is good. Uh, but it usually will pop later, so uh, I'll I'll drop that. Harry! What is up, Harry? Thanks for the super chat, man. As always, welcome to the stream, man. Uh, let's see here. I'm doing well. How about you? I'm actually having a blast checking out this new game. And uh, so far, so good. Now, Jay, 
Do you have any advice for me? Let's say I mess up. Now, I probably won't. But if I mess up, what is the best way to handle this? The guide that I'm using suggests using the PlayStation button and quitting to the XMB and reloading. Now, that was for a PS3. Uh, it also suggested that the select button popped up and could give you a load. Is this what? It, is this that version of that? I can use the the reload. It, it, is uh, maybe that's how I get? I'm just wondering if I need to quit the game immediately, or if I'm gonna have to play. Like, how can I save? myself from missing trophies if I accidentally miss. Again, this walkthrough is pretty straightforward, and I shouldn't miss anything, but if I do, what's my plan B? At least things can't get any worse. I wonder if Michael J. Fox would want to do another movie. Hey, Marty. Animated, perhaps. Hi, Just because, Biff. you know, physically he's Come not the specimen he once was. Nice hat, Biff. <laughs> nah, I guess I'm just remembering. All right, so now my uh, trusty guide here provided by, uh, I think it's Big Tim or something like that over there uh, at uh, PlayStationTrophies.org. So I have to go to the back room with Biff, interact with the Town Square model. Town Square model, here we go. And then dialogue with Biff, any. Doc built this model at Downtown Hill Valley way back in 1955. The clock tower in the courthouse. You guys works. want me to like tell you what I'm doing as I read the guide, or do you want to just see it happen just like and have me make it happen? You gotta hand it to the old coot. He was good with his hands. Uh, Biff, can, can I see that a minute? This lots of rest and lots of fluids, Paige. Lots of lots of sleep and lots of water, especially. I saw it first. Can I see that model courthouse for just a second? I need to get something out of it. Like what? A not guilty verdict? That was a joke. Oh, huh. but really, can I? Nah, I think I'll hold on. To Good it. advice, Jay. Thank you. Give it here, Biff. Well, well, look at what we have here. Looks like plans for something. What's a flux catheter? It's none of your ouch. business. <laughs> That's what it is. An ouch. <laughs> this looks like it might a be flux and something. catheter. <laughs> ouch. All right. Uh, let's see here. Options here. Yeah. Let's make some noise. Be a little wheel. To turn it up. There it is. Oh, there it is, right over there. Hey, Dad, why's my guitar got a price tag on it? Sorry, son. Must have been an overzealous clerk. Just pick it up. I'll iron things out with the bank. Yeah, boy. Wait, did I pick did I pick that up? Do I do I have it now? Inventory. Use item. So now select an amplifier to plug the guitar in. I don't know if I'm doing this right. Well, oh, I guess I'm doing it right. Here's an oldie. What a goodie. One, two, three. Hey, look, it's Chuck Butthead. Let me Chuck show you how Chuck Butthead it's instead of Chuck Berry. Now, Biff, I think that's Marty's guitar. It's all right, Felipe. Oh, uh, we'll be here gosh, for a while. Uh, you're right, Mr. McFly. Oh, here you go, Marty. Let's hear a few licks. Kids have ruined rock and roll. Hey, Dad. About Biff. Dad, I know you're trying to help. He talks a big game, son, but he's not so tough. I've been dealing with him a long time. Believe me, 
I can handle it. So can I. Yeah, they're very different. But the, the, the way that this all works, the, the dialogue, choosing and everything, it's very okay, different. Okay, son. I'll stay out of your way. You know where to find me. I'll keep looking around. Thanks, Dad. So. And now, something your kids are really gonna like. Thanks for warming them up for me, butthead. Now, in theory, that should be a trophy. See you in a BAM! Now watch me blow the lid off this joint. Whatever you say. <laughs> Rock on, That's bitch. Funny. Oh, shit. Am I going to have to have a cuss button for this game? Uh, Doc, where are you? So, trophy? I think I might have missed a trophy, you guys. I don't like this delayed nonsense. I don't know if I got it or not. I followed the directions. Ah, there it is! <laughs> what, let's see here. Let's, let's double check this real quick and see how many we got. Um, so they're not in any kind of proper order here, as you can see here. There is a platinum. Bam. Whoops, that's not what I wanted to do. Let's, uh... So, 60. I was wrong. There are 60 trophies. Uh, you may have underestimated. <laughs> yes, I know. That's what I was just thinking. Uh, it's very possible we need a cuss button. So, beep! <laughs> you know. Um, Jay, is it, is it pretty bad? Uh, let's see here. I'm just afraid you're reading the guide on later episodes. You're going to spoil it for... Well, that's okay, true, but um, you know, I definitely want to, uh, definitely want to platinum this and get it and, and then move on to the next, as I like to say. But it, it's still a fun experience getting to do it with you guys too. Like that makes it so much better. Um, but I get it though. There are some spoilers, but as I go step by step, I'm not reading ahead, so I don't know what happens at the end until the end. But yes, I, I hear what you're saying though too. Did you guys see we finished up Apex yesterday? So I don't, I don't. What's this? Oh, uh, did I did I see? Oh, this is the first time seeing. I don't really get messages, you guys. Like they, I, unless I see them pop up, uh, they don't notify me. As like you can see, 23 minutes ago we were on stream, and I didn't get any notification of that message. So, uh, sorry if I don't respond right away. It just is what it is. Let's see here. Let's go ahead and interact. Doc. Don't forget to stay hydrated, people. Hot. Einstein. Where do you come from, boy? Didn't you bring Doc with you? Negative. Man, I was hoping we were going to get to 50 viewers today. It's still early yet, but I think I think the highest we saw was 41. Swearing isn't much more. I know that in the movie, that's definitely a thing. So, all right, so we got a tape recorder. We'll go ahead and interact with that. I wonder if there was anything else I didn't really look around for. Marty, <laughs> Marty, if you're hearing this recording, the DeLorean's automatic retrieval feature is a resounding success. Automatic retrieval? In case of my failure to return to the DeLorean within an allotted time, I programmed the time machine to jump to these four-dimensional coordinates without me. As you are well aware, time travel is an inherently risky activity. And despite my elaborate precautions, there's always the possibility that I could land in trouble <laughs> sometime. And that sometime is now. Or then. Or, uh, maybe later. He's in trouble. Marty, you come to my rescue in the past. Or was it the future? Anyway, I'm relying on you to do it again. Please, take the DeLorean back. Or, or forward. To whatever it is, I'm stuck in time. If you get there, I'm sure you'll figure out what to do. That's it? Aren't you gonna tell me when that is? 
Just go to the date specified on the time circuit readout under the heading mark last night. I agree, Brian. I wish there was a full Lego right, right, video game. Departed, like, I've departed. talked about having oh, a continuation geez. where come maybe on, we can have, on. like, extended or new adventures. And, and then have Michael J. Fox oh, pass the torch to somebody to else, too, so that we have a new character. Kind of like, you know, somebody new and awesome. Uh, let's see here. T -t 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 Interact with the shoe. Do we got anything else? So we got the time circuit display, time circuit switch, keypad. Let's see what's up with the hey, shoe. Doc, I know I haven't seen you in a few months, but I'm pretty sure this isn't your <laughs> shoe. What kind of trouble is Doc in, Einie? Mysterious shoe. What do you know about this shoe, Einie? So see the difference? Like, Scott, I interacted I with him without something. the shoe versus with the shoe. Now we're going street side. Working to the buzzer. Yeah. Skate or die. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Uh -huh. All right, so let's How's see here. To the dock, I mean. Gotta find a buzzer. There we go. There's a buzzer. Talk to Edna. Edna Strickland. Step away from the door. Ah, you slacker. Let me get a look at you. Burk, burk. Einstein, come on. Burk, burk. Just as burk, burk. I suspected. Cool again. Scat, isn't that? Let's see here. Ooh, we've got something for you. Can you let me in? I've got something to show you. What is it? Let me see. Uh. A shoe? Wow, now what would I want with a. Huh? <gasps> All right, now we're moving inside. Moving on up. Hoverboard versus skateboard. Hoverboard faux show. All right, so now we got to go in. <laughs> Mind your business. Mind your business. <laughs> Leave that creature out. So we got we got to go mess with. Uh... Sorry, so so Einstein. wasn't Mr. Strickland the bald guy that called everybody slacker? Right, that's Mr. Strickland. Am I? Am I... Remembering this incorrectly? Um, hey, what's up, Tony? Welcome to the stream! Well, took you long enough. Um, there's a lot of stairs. To return the shoe, I mean. I lost it ages ago. You can put it down next to the This next objective is one. really weird. Like, uh, mm, I'm not sure better. what the so process or why the process is how it is. Yeah, I suppose you'll be wanting some sort of reward now. No, I... All I've got is tea Ooh, I've got tea, candy. too. You're oh, about my tea. I'm sorry I called you a hooligan. I try not to jump to conclusions, but after all, nine out of ten people in this city are it's true. hooligans. It's, it's true. It's a fact. Look it's on out. the internet. It's got to be true. Uh, Have a seat. Not sonny. your mama? No, she's definitely not the mama. Not the mama. You guys remember that? The old dinosaur show? Hey! You kids! Put out those cigarettes! I mean, I'm with her. I actually hollered I hollered at some kids. So yesterday, Reese and I were in the family room, and I looked out a window, and I could see some kids, and they were pushing a lawnmower. And I was like, oh, that's cool. The kids are, you know, mowing the lawn or whatever. Trying to make some money, which we've been trying to get Reese to do. And then I looked, I was like, who are those kids? I don't recognize, and I, Reese, do you write? Nope, I don't write. And then I saw a kid, and he was drinking a soda, and he kicked it way back, and he shook it, and I could tell he was done with it, right? And he was probably 12 to 14 years old. And I saw him kind of, like, kick back like he was going to throw it. I like, oh, if he says something, or if he throws it, I'm going to go say something. And so he, like, kind of pretended like he, and he couldn't see me. He had no idea I was there. And, and then he takes a couple steps, and he's talking to his buddy, pushing the lawnmower. And the guy takes the can, and he throws it into some bushes of my neighbors. And I run out there, and I was like, hey! <laughs> so I was totally hurt yesterday. Hey! Pick that up! 
said, that's not cool, man. Literally ain't cool. He goes, what? I said, pick that up, man. That's not cool. He goes, okay. And then it was funny because they were walking up towards our cul-de-sac. And they went, picked up the can, and they walked off. <laughs> so I was hoping that my house wasn't going to get egged or something. And it didn't, so I got lucky there, but. Uh, let's see, hoverboard or DeLorean? Uh, I would probably rock the DeLorean just because I could, uh, you know, I could go back in time to when I made that choice and then choose something else if I got tired of the DeLorean. All right, we got cat bulls. Probably don't need none of that. Uh, so the next, like I said, the next uh, objective is kind of weird. So there's pictures on the wall. We have to interact with these <laughs> more than is once. That and it might be because Mother we look at the different pictures that might be why so let's see if we look at the same picture or if we look at a different one. Oh, come on aha that's why. okay Strickland. okay my grandfather gunned down by mad dog tannin over a hundred years you like ago. that mark that's not how i pick remember. it up Ooh, look at that i didn't even have to do it it says three oh it says one to three times okay so, uh, next we got to interact. I'll, I'll go ahead and do it one more time. Jeez. They all look like they've got sticks up there. What's that? Nothing. Is there any more? Uh-uh. Jeez. They all look like Language. they've got sticks up Language. there. Language! Language! What's that? Nothing. All right, so we're done with that. Uh, let's see here. Next we got a... All right, so we have some specific answers we need to give here. Uh, Miss Strickland? Jack! Diane! I know what you're doing behind me. Uh oh. Yes. Uh, let's see here. Bam. Do you remember when you lost your shoe? Shoe? That shoe over there. Oh, that shoe. <laughs> Hi, what a nosy Nelly. No one likes it. A nosy Nelly. You no. Know. But. Oh, fine. Let me think about it. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yes, I. Justin, what up, Finn? What's it up? In a scuffle with a, a dog. Oh, when was it? Oh yes, the day that Speakeasy burned down. A Speakeasy in Hill Valley? Don't act so surprised, young man. Your generation doesn't hold a copyright on moral depravity, you know. <laughs> Sin has been on the prowl in Hill Valley since the day it was founded. So, not to be mean, but like, those eyebrows are drawn on, right? I, I know that's a thing. That, like, people do that. Some some cultures, that's that's more of the way that they do it. But, um, isn't it kind of uh, smart to like match the color? Oh, whoa, look at her animation. That's a little rough. Unless she's just got like some sort of like the ring <laughs> going on there that's weird did she just snap it you see her what, let's see if it'll happen again it's like there's a loop of her animation but the loop isn't seamless maybe it's me maybe it's me uh all right i keep waiting for it to prove it but it's not happening so i'm gonna go ahead and choose the answer that i believe i'm supposed to choose she looks like she's getting a little impatient though wow a speakeasy that must have been wild. Is it true they used to drink gin out of slippers like Game a is, grandma It's said? fun. Don't it's fun, Justin, for sure. Don't the past, young man. Prohibition was a time when gangsters ruled the town while honest citizens quaked in their beds. So where was it? That speakeasy that burned down, I mean. That was ages ago. If you're looking for bootleg hoops, Red Dead 2 is fun. No, I I'm it just definitely curious, is that's fun. all. I'm a, a student of history. Student of history? My Aunt Fanny. Yeah, your generation of hooligans and slackers could give two right things about history. Miss Strickland? Oh, video store! Huh? The speakeasy used to be hidden in plain sight down there in the town square. Right where that disgusting videotape rental store squats today. So the video store building must have gone up after the speech. Apparently not a fan out. of VHS, huh? Following year, as I recall. What's with all these newspapers? This is my personal archive. I've got every issue of the Hill Valley Telegraph. So you're a hoarder. 
Get out. Every single issue. From 1871 hey, to the present. If it happened in Hill Valley, you'll find it in my stacks. Hey, have you guys heard of a game called Frankie's Revenge Gets Sticky? I, I just got a, an email from the dev, and they're offering us a, a Steam code. I, I don't. You guys know I don't play a lot of games on Steam or whatever, but uh, I was just wondering if you guys had heard of it. If that's something that I should look into and maybe uh, reach out. Uh, again, it was something I'd never heard of. Uh, Frankie, what is it called? It's called Frankie's Rev. No, yeah, Frankie's Revenge gets sticky. <laughs> it's a robot action game. It says. All right. Anyways. Uh, I guess somewhere in these stacks there must be an article about the speakeasy burning down. Naturally. Yeah, I probably wrote You're it myself. You're a dingbat, huh, Michael? <laughs> I was quite a reporter back Is that, is that a self-reflection, or is that what that you think people out? say about well, you? Well, obviously, the day after the speakeasy burned down. Boy. Uh, let's see here. Don't let me keep you from your business. You there! Don't even think about tossing that Kleenex on the ground! <laughs> There's a bat for you. Uh, let's see here. Let's go ahead and see what's up with these. Mind if I take a look? Go ahead, dear. What is that dude doing? Oh. Re Rebuilt in February, 1932. So the fire must have happened before then. But when? I need a date. Don't look at me. I'm far too old for you. Ah. But I'm bumped. All right. So, what else we got in here? Cat tro with cat bowls. Was there cat trophies? Did I really see that? Yeah, cat trophies. Where, where? Where are they? I'm not able to find them, but yet they're there. I keep seeing them. Uh, uh, there they go, way over there. Interesting. What's up with this radiator? Man, she Some keeps it hot people. in here. <laughs> That's the kettle. I'll be right back with some tea. Then don't touch it. Oh yeah. You see that nice little camera work on them newspapers there? Don't touch anything! Newspapers, newspapers, newspapers. <laughs> Let's go ahead and see what's up with these newspapers, huh? Let's see. Ground broken on site of former speakeasy. Singer vanishes. Hill Valley Expo delights crowd. Soup kitchen exposed. Here we go. Speakeasy arsonist slain. Legal procedure gave way to old-fashioned vengeance last night when a mob descended on the Hill Valley Police Station. The suspect in the speakeasy arson case, a drifter known as Carl Sagan, was pulled from his... Carl Sagan? It's Doc! Killed by a mob... What's the date? June 14th, 1931. Jeez, I gotta rescue him. Is that Doc's real name, Carl Sagan? I feel like I should I know that. Papers. Sorry, Miss Strickland. Uh, let me... Ow! You've gotten my history out of order! Oh, do you know how long it'll take to fix what you've done? Ow! Oh, get out! Get out! Get, get out! out! Help! Police! She's too old for I'm you. I'm being attacked by hooligans! I like her shirt. I'm totally down with, like, cat wear. I don't know if you guys noticed, too, in the back. It's kind of hard to see. I got uh, the, the, the big heads of Marty and Doc out there. I borrowed them from Reese's Lego table downstairs. Marty! Thought that might be Where fun, but been, I don't know if you can even and see them. what are you doing in that getup? Let's see here. I'm dressed for a Halloween party. It's work uniform. It's costume for a school play. Uh, let's see here. Excuse, excuse, excuse. They're all excuses. Uh, didn't I tell you? I, I got the lead in the school play. Uh, we're doing Grapes of Wrath. Right. Oh, Steinbeck. Who are you playing? Yes, I've um, watched the movie. Well, I've watched all three of them. Never mind. Finn. You don't have to explain. I'm sure whatever it is you're up to, you know what you're doing, right? I hope so. 
Hey, sometimes you gotta go out on a limb for the ones you love, right? Wish my dad had understood that. You won't stay away too long. You'll barely know I was gone. So when these when these originally released, did they come the out in said? the full game or did they come out in episodes? I can't remember. I want to say that these came out in episodes and that they were like fifteen dollars a piece. I could be wrong. It may have only been five bucks a piece, but uh, I, f I feel like it was a little bit more. So we're getting close to a trophy here. Uh, we got a let's see here a time circuit switch. Let's go ahead and mess with that. Time circuits on flux capacitor. Uh, what? Let's go. Let's see here. Keypad. Let's beep boop bop boop beep boop boop. Okay. If Doc's gonna get killed on June fourteenth, great Scott. I'll just show up the day before. I have the blue light collection too. It's not out. up here though. It's downstairs. You know doing, the rest Doc? of the of the movies. I used to have a bunch of movies up here, but I moved them all downstairs to give us more room up here. Because as you guys know, we got a lot of stuff in a little room. Bling! Gonna go back in time. Should be a silver. Speaking of silver, I checked my silver play button status this morning, and it's still in the works. It's still in production or something like that. So, not sent yet. Oh, oh. Oh. Da, 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 da. Uh oh. I've officially lost all audio. Oh, now it's back. Super weird. I don't know if you guys can hear it. Like, there's bits and pieces. Like, I can hear the crickets chirping. I can hear Marty. Ah! <laughs> but there's no... There we go. It's back. I don't know if it's just my headset or if it was... That was weird. And you know what's cool, too? There's five episodes of this. This guide has seven pages of step-by-step. -step. We're... we're halfway done with page two and we're 45 minutes or so so this, this, we, got, we got a good couple hours worth of uh, stuff here i think by the time we get done they'll be close to probably 10 hours worth of content on this that's pretty cool hello what's up episode is gone that's weird you mean from the store yeah you, you can't buy them unfortunately anymore oh you guys couldn't hear the audio either that's what you're saying okay back in time Maybe the audio was time traveling. <laughs> All right. Here you go now, so we boy. got some very specific dialogue we need to have with Edna. With old Ed Edna mode. Oh no, it's not Edna mode. That'd be cool if it was. Wouldn't that be cool if it was Edna mode? Like a little crossover. She's also in Back to the Future, but also a costume designer. I mean, they're not related in any form, but just Edna. Uh oh, look out! Ah! Was it me or did it look like she was going to get tatered by that? Oh my gosh. Hopefully that was uh, not what it appeared to be. God, did you see this? Game's a bit glitchy. Okay, okay. What is with people and walking in front of moving vehicles? Where's Andy, the Shushan guy? Oh, wrong, wrong. Uh man excuse me young man who uh, me you're the only man in the street and I'm looking for a man in the street reaction naturally you know about the explosion that destroyed this illegal gin establishment I read about it yeah what's your opinion of Carl Sagan the stranger who single-handedly did what the law has been unable to do for ten long years namely rid Hill Valley of the scourge of liquor Uh. <laughs> Mark me down as a supporter, the young man said, flashing a boyish yet virile grin. Hill Valley needs more upstanding youths like yourself. Do you have a message for the vicious gangsters who still roam these streets, no doubt plotting to corrupt our citizens with another den of booze, sin, and debauchery? Where can I find him? <laughs> uh, let's just keep it simple, huh? No, uh, not really. That's the spirit. Destroy them with indifference. 
If we refuse to patronize their establishments and glorify their wicked exploits, they'll soon be exposed for the pathetic wretches they are. May I get your name? Yeah, it's... Sonny Crockett. Harry Callahan. Ooh, Michael Corleone. What do you guys think? Which should, should I go, Sonny, Harry, or Michael? I know we got at least one Michael in the chat. I'm, I'm sure he'd probably vote for Michael. Uh, looks like we got we got an Andy in the chat too, so that doesn't fall into these. So uh, I got an old friend, Sonny. We st his last name was Bumgardner. We called him Sonny Bum Bummy Sonny. So uh, I feel like Sonny is the way to go. Backing me into a corner. I ain't afraid of no woman. Not this one, anyways. So <laughs> there are some out there. Uh, Sonny Crockett. Right, Sonny, it is. Thank you for sharing your candid opinions, Mr. Crockett. Edna Strickland, Hill Valley Herald. I know. I met you back. I mean, I'm familiar with your work. You read my column? How sweet! Ah, I, I should have waited a little longer. Column, but I've I went with Sonny. To bigger and better. Oh. Einstein, no. Down, boy. Is this wretched creature yours? Michael he wins the popular me vote. <laughs> my bad, guys. I, didn't, I thought I waited the 30 seconds or so, and I didn't see nothing, times. so I chose. Look it up. My bad, guys. My uh, bad. I gotta find Doc. Alright, so I gotta... Let's see here. Let's walk to the left. Ooh, let's get a shoe shine. Can we get a shoe shine? No. Let's see here. Not hiring. What, what is this? The stationer's door? No. Uh, oh, that's a suspect. What, what does that say? I can't... I guess this is where the speakeasy burned down. How Doc ever get mixed up in that? Alright. Law offices sign. What do we got here? Gail, Zemeckis, and Fine. Attorneys at law. <laughs> no solicitors. Ready? Oh, hi, Bob! <laughs> uh, let's see here. That was actually really quick. That trophy popped really fast. Let's see here. Go walk across. Oh, I, bet, I better use the crosswalk. Is that a fur, furrier sign? There is a furrier sign. All right, so I walked across. I passed the... We gotta find a soup kitchen. Is there a... Oh, that's not what we want. Uh, I was hoping I could go a little faster. Hey, what's up, Einstein? Oof, oof. Or wolf. Oh. Alright, so... I don't know if I'm going the right way, guys. It said, walk across the street and past the soup kitchen. Great. I just itched my nose and got junk all over my glasses. I feel like I'm going the wrong way. I have a feeling Jay's about to tell me, too. You're doing it all wrong! What's up there, Corolla? Welcome to the street. Oh, man, that's still bad. I can't see. I smeared the smear. Sorry, guys. One of the downsides to wearing glasses is that sometimes I forget I have them on and I itch my snout or something and end up messing it all about. All right, so... There's, okay, I didn't mean to do that. Hopefully that doesn't change anything. That's not the soup kitchen over there, is it? No, that's not the soup kitchen. So maybe I just didn't go the right way. Maybe it was a funny ankle angle. It's over where you were, huh? Like you know, demon. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Alright, so what? This is weird. I have to push left to walk down. Soup kitchen! And get to the police station, huh? Alright, where... This is so weird. I'm having to push, like, up and to the right. Now, let's see. Interact with jail window, I'm told. Here we go. Doc! Art! Doc! You're doing it all wrong. What are you, doing <laughs> you know what that's from, don't you? Send for me, Doc. Uh, I did? When? May 14th, 1986. 1980? <gasps> the automatic retrieval system. Of course. I'd almost forgotten about that. So what's our plan for getting you out of here? Plan? We don't need a plan. We don't. Not in the slightest. The police picked me up for that speakeasy fire a couple of weeks ago, but the DA hasn't got a case. They're releasing me tomorrow morning. So basically, I traveled 50 years into the past to deliver your car? Sorry about that. 
but it's so wonderful to see you. Well, sweet. Yeah, I got multiple helpers then. Awesome. Yeah, you, you might want to hold off on that, Doc. Boom. Boom. Right, Scott. I'm going to be gunned down by gangsters on the steps of the courthouse. Why would they do that? Guess they didn't approve of my burning down their speakeasy. It's very funny, Doc. Maybe now we should come up with a plan. A plan? Right. But what? Alright, uh, let's go back in time. That sounds like a good one, huh? Let's make a stand. Let's talk to the gangsters. I don't think so. Why don't I take the DeLorean, go back in time before Dins, you arrested, you're back. What's and up? stop you from getting caught in the first place? Directionals well, are wacky. I'm yeah, figuring that out. incarceration, the events that sent you into the past might never happen, resulting in a paradox of continuum shattering proportions. Jeez, we've been back together for five minutes, Doc. You're already talking about the end of the universe. I've missed that. Don't be ridiculous, Marty. I was only referring to the end of the universe as we know it. Well, I suppose I could just get some dynamite and break you out of jail. No, no, that's far too dangerous. Not just to me, but to random <laughs> innocent people in the past. The repercussions could be... <gasps> I, I hear you, it. Jay. I hear you. That's that is... My rocket-powered <laughs> thrill. You have a rocket-powered drill? But Not yet. That choo-choo. You've lost me, Doc. Listen, a few months ago, my 17-year-old self sent in a patent application for a rocket-powered drill. I abandoned the project after I never heard back from the patent office, but the prototype should be nearly complete. Great. I'll just run back to your lab and... No, no, I said nearly complete. You need me to help you finish it. How the hell am I supposed to sneak a half Look at Einstein in the back. drill into your cell? Not me, me. 1931 me. Wait a minute, Doc. You want me to convince your 1931 self to build a rocket-powered drill to break you out of jail? Precisely. <laughs> okay, let's say I go along with this crazy idea. Where can I find you? I mean, uh, the other you. How should I know? It was over 50 years ago. Why did you go over to the soup kitchen next door and give my house a call? They'll know where to find me. Soup kitchen. Got it. I, I am Just playing as Marty. Soup. It'll cause irreparable damage We're to your currently talking to Doc, system. though. Uh, have to go. See you soon. Not nice. Well, hey, Finn, we'll be here for another hour or so. Do you get time? We'll be here. I guess I better get started. If not, there's don't always worry, the replay. Uh, On no the way out, worry. don't forget to Once hit that subscribe yourself, button. Your together, and ring that bell if you haven't already. Most of you are already subscribed, but you might double check and see that you have that bell rang as well. Doc! Marty! Have you found my younger self yet? Where have you been all this time? I missed you. I've missed you too, Marty. But I thought it was important to <laughs> let you live your own life for a while. Free from the insanity of time travel. I gotta admit, it was nice to not have my family history blowing up in my face for a few months. Besides, I've been busy raising my own unpredictable teenagers. <laughs> Edna, Edna Strickland. Mode must have been her uh, maiden name. So how are Clara and the kids? They're fine, fine. Right now we're trying to decide where to send Jules and Bird to college. Clara prefers the 2020s, but I'm partial to the 1960s. We're planning on visiting you and Jennifer in 2011 soon. Me and Jennifer in 2011? Oh, forget I said 2011? It. That's like in the past, man. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Where'd the DeLorean come from? The last time I saw it, it had been smashed to pieces by a train. It's a fantastic story. Do you remember oh, yeah. when the this DeLorean is, This game's like 10 years old, Michael. It's, it was one of the earlier Telltale games. Yeah. Not a lot of gameplay well, moving around, but there is definitely some. Machine. One that was tossed 70 years There's a lot of dialogue that I have to do specifically what? to get trophies that are missable, too. So we're actually uh, doing a little extra to make sure that we get all the trophies. Speaking of which, bling, heavy. any that second DeLorean now. It's for all intents and purposes the exact same machine as the original. Plus or minus little bells and whistles I've added over the years, of course. Booyaka cha Hang in there, Doc. Not the best well, my allergies are really getting party. me today. I'm not sure why. What's different, but me, me. Did 
The old soup kitchen, huh? Sisters of Mercy Soup Kitchen. Come for the soup, stay for the salvation. Hey, what's up there, Samuel Lyons? Welcome to the stream! Thanks for stopping by, man. Appreciate it. All right, let's go ahead and see. I I'm feeling a little hungry. I don't know about you, but I could use a bowl of soup. This looks like a... Isn't that the diner location? Soup kitchen turns into the diner? Or was the diner turned into soup kitchen? Maybe I got the order backwards. I got the order backwards. Cabbage soup. No, nope, I'm out of here. Not interested in cabbage soup. Oh, hey, no. Bye. Biff? Kid. Grandpa? That's Mr. Tannen to you, Artie. What are you doing out here? I guess well, soup kitchen, then diner, I was getting then... Kind of hungry, I don't know. So I I'll figure it I'd out. I'll come down here for some free soup. Just thought I'd come down for some soup. Hey, gamer. Think, McFly. The DA's throwing around subpoenas like Babe Ruth. I don't think Ruth's a pitcher anymore. Shut it. If one of those subpoenas landed in the hands of my number cruncher, I'd be in a whole lot of trouble. I could even get sent up the river. You wouldn't want that, would you? Would you? Uh, no. Of course not, kid. All right. That's better. What are you looking at, punk? Keep your eyes on the soup, kid. Well? Well, what? What are you still doing here? Sorry, kid. I'll just run back to the safe house. You do that. And McFly? Yes? That hat's too flashy. You better let me hold on to it. Ah. Uh, what a joke. Scram! You got it, boss. And don't come out until I give you the all clear. I swear, if even one of you mooks could add two plus two without your fingers, I'd dump that wimp into the lake. Hey, anyway, I'm off to make myself. Hey, Thunder Clark, what's Don't up? Thanks for the sub. The Welcome to the channel. Gone. Hopefully, you enjoy the content. All right, let's see here. Well, what all we got going here? Well, we got a guy. Relax, guy. Kitchen door oppression. That's probably employee access only. Ring, ring. Ring, ring. E.T. Phone Home! Oh. Brown Resident. Uh, hi. Uh, do you know where I could find Emmett Brown? Young Master Brown is currently tending to his clerking duties at the courthouse. Mm, I see his mm. The courthouse? Doc never told me he worked at the courthouse. Back to the future song? As Butthead? I don't know if I... Uh... <sighs> Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> I don't know <laughs> if that was a good attempt or not. Yeah, yeah. Good job. Oh, come on. Wacky controls, guys. Oh, wacky. Uh, remember when Marty traveled to 2015 and he had a hover skateboard? Well, where is it? But we have them. They're just a little different than the ones that they had. Uh, I, 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 there was a pretty good scam that was out for a while that, that looked like they had created some sort of a material that was a magnetic material that they'd be able to add to like asphalt and pavements and things that would be able to, you know, basically be an additive. And so certain areas would have like a different face, like, you know, a gray face rather than black or white or whatever. Um, and, and you'd be able, but it was all a hoax. They had people on, it was crazy. It was crazy. Alright, let's see here. It's time to go see a judge about a something. Yo, bro. Don't Watch where he's going. These are very sensitive legal documents. Nobody is supposed to handle them but sworn officers of the court. Papa, I mean, they don't Judge ever. Brown says so. <laughs> they sort of do. Sort of. Judge Brown? Doc. Uh, nice to meet you. I'm, um, Sonny Crockett. Emmett Brown. But I am a law clerk, not a doctor. Now please get out of my way. I have important business to transact. I gotta go with Scooby. I mean, Einstein's pretty awesome, but I'd have to stick with Scooby. Look at my walk. Kind of a, almost got the Barry Goldberg walk on there.
Listen, Emmett, you don't know me, but I'm your friend. I'm not big on friends. They get in the way of work. Oh, there's another. Look at that. There's more. There's five. I didn't realize there might have been more. Oh, snap. Listen, I understand you're working on a new invention in your lab. Invention? <laughs> yeah, no doubt. All gangly else, and I'm yes, long. definitely Doc. I have absolutely no interest in science. Hello? No solicitors! Oh. Come on, wait up a minute. So say, I you think I missed again? something. Can't you see but, no. I'm busy? Um, let's see here. Okay, so you don't want your old man to know. That's fine. Listen, we all keep secrets. But I'm telling you, you can level with me about this science Whoa. project of yours. Animations are a little wonky a there, huh? Scientist. Go ahead, ask me what Einstein. E equals. What does E equal? I have absolutely no idea. See? I don't know where you got your information from about me, mister, but you're wrong, wrong, wrong. You just give me a chance. H to the A yo. Crime, Mr. Crockett. Uh, let's see. What are you doing? Uh, don't worry, I'm a rocket scientist. Stay with me. Don't worry, I'm a scientist too. Let's see here. See, I'm sort of in the science business myself. That's why I sought you out. Not that I care in the least, because science is the furthest thing from my own area of interest, which is law. But I don't believe you. It's true. I'm a scientist. So tell me something, Mr. Scientist, from your vast storehouse of scientific knowledge. Uh, the leg bones connected to the uh, thigh bone? It's out of wrong. Leg bone connected to the neck bone. So there's only four on this one. Okay, so maybe not all of them had more. Uh, gotta convince him, right? We don't wanna... Yeah. Come on, you can trust me, Doc. Uh, Emmett, it's your future I'm looking out for, in more ways than one. What are you talking about? I'm talking about you and science. Oh, no. that word hey, hey, what's up, so no? I'm a scientist once more. I'll sue you for defamation of character. Let's see. Let's see how he likes this. Whoops. You just give me a chance. Harassment's a federal crime, Mr. Crockett. Uh. So something went wrong here. Something went wrong. I, I think I messed something up. Uh oh. Uh, yeah, because I equipped the tape recorder and I tried to talk to him. It should be talking to him with the tape recorder right now. Damn it. Uh, about your. Don't say it. So. Yeah, so I tried to. I don't know if he comes out or not. Jay, did I make a mistake? Oh. You just give me a chance. I'll see. It's the same thing. A federal crime, Mr. Crockett. I, I don't understand. Like, why? Damn it. Uh, about don't your... Don't say it. Why not using the right... I mean, it's tape recorder. Use item. And how... Whoa, Emmett. What is this? Hint one. Got something in common. Yeah, so I know that... <clears throat> Here. Will you just give I, me a I, chance? Harassment's a federal crime, Mr. Crockett. All right, I'll try. I'll try the square. And I'll try. I tried the square again or before, but see, it's just popping that up. And then examine. Uh... Party is that? Party is that? Party is that? See, it's not letting me. What am I missing here, guys? What am I missing? 
When I hit square, it just pops up the uh, the op this option. So I clearly don't need that. I need this. I use item by hitting X. And now I'm told that I need to approach him with it equipped. Interact with Emmett with it equipped. Which I'm trying to do, but it... maybe I have to... He comes back out, right? Hey, you're welcome for the pirate's guide. Thanks for watching it. All right. See, it's not. Just it's like it's not working. Harassment's a federal crime, Mr. Crockett. Damn it! Uh, about your. Say it. It says walk back over to the police station on the west side of Town Square. Interact with jail window. But I haven't been able to get him to respond with me having the tape recorder. Like, it's so weird. It's like not allowing me, like, hmm. This allows my, uh, so, I mean, shouldn't I? So let's see here. Another hit. What's Emmett muttering to himself about when he thinks you're not listening? Emmett's scientific problems are gibberish to Marty, but there's somebody who can make sense of them. Try recording Emmett's mutterings. Okay, so how do I record? catch it before it goes back in. I'll try one more time and then I'll go to the jail window and see if that works. Yeah, because I just... Alright. Alright, so I've got, it re I've got it out. Let's go over to the jail now and see what's up. Try the something important option. No, that that's that's not Loki. That's not. That, I promise you, that's not it. That has that's the dialogue is not related to the situation. The guide specifically says here to pull out um, the recorder, and it says. So and you know what it is. Uh, so it does say interact with Emmett, but Emmett. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, okay. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, the other options, I, I, I mean, I'll try them, but I don't think they have anything to do with anything. It's very specific. Everything's been very specific. This guy's nine years old, too, so any changes or any mistakes that would have been made would have probably been updated um, yeah it says don't worry your rocket drill secrets are safe with me and then it says use square item so he drops off and walks away then you're supposed to equip it now I've got it equipped and then it says interact with Emmett and I mean am I is this the right Emmett I guess like Convince young Emmett Brown to help you. Will you just give me a chance? Harassment's a federal crime, Mr. Crockett. Come on, Doc. Uh, Emmett, uh, drop the Legal Eagle Act. I got something more important for you to do. Mr. Crockett, I'll have you know that the law is the very mortar that holds society together. And we in the legal profession are like brick masons building the edifice of the future. Your dad tell you that? Every morning. What's this important business you're up to? It's a legal matter, very complicated. Nice, very Paige. Abstruse. Hey, what's I up, boy? Five sets of initials on every copy of this writ of indemnification before Pop, I mean, before Judge Brown can even think of granting a waiver to the party of the first part. 
You have no idea what it's about, do you? That's how important it is. So Maybe wait, they did have something to do. None work. of this is here. Depends. On weeknights, Pop sometimes keeps me in the office till nine. Nine at night? But today's Saturday. Right. So I probably won't get off before ten. How about you knock off work early and I'll buy you a beer? Uh, or soda? What do you say? Don't try to tempt me from my duty with sugary beverages. Keeping the wheels of justice turning, that's my one passion in life. Besides, if I left before eight, my pop would kill me. Sounds like you're a little scared of your father. Scared it's weird that there's father. seven or eight interactions the here that aren't just labeled at all. Corruptible judge that Hill Valley has ever seen. The only people scared of Judge Brown are people with a dark secret to hide. And I don't have a dark secret to hide. Emmy, uh, about don't your. Don't say it. Yeah, it's just weird that I can't. It's like it's not realizing that I've got it out or something. Will you just give me a chance? See? Harassment's a federal crime. I, I, yeah, Crockett. no, I can't press the square. That's what I keep telling you guys. Like, when I press the square like, button, it pops up that. It, like, the game is Scared not recognizing, father. is what it seems like. Learned, just incorruptible judge that Hill Valley I can't, has ever seen. Like, triangle isn't working. Circle Brown isn't working. With a dark secret to hide. And I don't have a dark secret to hide. Sounds like you're a little scared of your father. Scared of my father? Pop is the most learned, just, incorruptible judge that Hill Valley has ever seen. The only people scared of Judge Brown are people with a dark secret I, I, I did, to, that's, I, I, I did interact with the doors to start with. That's how he popped out. See, now we got the same like two comments. Scared of your father. Scared of my father. Does the square, the yes, learned, that's exactly what it does. Rather than use has ever seen. the item the that's out, it pulls up the option for it. To hide. And I don't have a dark secret to hide. So. Emmy. About your say it. All right, so here we go. Watch, see, square, S square. See, and then, and then I go over, and then, and then X to use item. Right. Well, first we'll we'll examine item. That, that, that. And then, and then, when I get up close to him and hit X, we'll see when he comes out here. Yeah, it, it might be a glitch. It, it, and I mean, it might be something I'm doing wrong. I, I, you know, I, I I feel like this is where I left off last time. See, I, I, I couldn't even... Chance. As soon as I, as soon as he got Mr. close Crockett. to me, it, it, it automatically popped out. So let me, let, me, let me try... Okay. Here we go. I don't know why it wasn't working before. I tried X, I tried square. So we got it. Maybe I wasn't targeted on him. Maybe as he was walking, I was hitting Einstein or other people. See, now, I, now it won't do anything. So now do I have to go back to the jail? Walk back over to the... Yep, yeah, all, right. all right. We got what we need. Woo! Yeah, I've got a guide right now, Loki. I'm looking at it. That's why I was confused. I, I, I tried and tried and tried to interact with him. It would not let me. I'm not sure why... I don't know if it had something to do with the dialogue. If it didn't, like I said, it might have been user error. I might have been, like, tagged on something else. Like, right now, it's Soup Kitchen sign. You know, but I'm not even anywhere near the sign. Uh, but, but, yeah, I am up there. See? So, it might have been something like that where I was tagged on Einstein rather than Emmett or something. And that might have... I, I don't know. I have no idea. But it looks like... Yep. We're good. Oh, Doc, does this Woot. ring a bell? Oh, think, Emmett, think. Good grief! Is that me? I sound so young. I was gonna say intense. I forgot how wound up I used to get. Yeah, but what are you muttering about? Oh, that's easy. It's Ivanov's conundrum. Just tell my younger self that H equals the Hamiltonian operator. Won't giving him the answer mess up the time stream? Only if it turns out that reality is actually nothing more than a holographic illusion created by the interplay of subatomic particles on a vast two-dimensional uh. membrane. So 
so it'll be fine. All right, so we're good with that. Now we got to go back to. So wait a minute. Huh. Hopefully, uh, this is right here. It it. I never had a chance to. Uh, there's supposed to be some dialogue that I spit out there, but I don't. I never had a chance to respond. What was H again? The Hamiltonian operator. Got it. Huh. All right. Well. <laughs> Too much science. It's because you were tagged to ISIS. So it's very possible, Mark. It's very possible. Like, I'm not afraid to admit that it's uh, the user error. It's certainly not the first time something like that's happened. So Emmett, now I've got him tagged from a mile away. God, this control. As soon as it switches scenes, the control, like, switches with it. It's weird. Oh, think, Emmett, think. H to the A multiplied by the inverse of A. H to the Ooh. A multiplied by the inverse of A. I, oh, oh. Yeah. Interesting. So... This is not going as it's supposed to again. I, I don't know what's going on, guys. My uh, my next step here says I'm supposed to says walk back over to the police station on the west side of town, interact with the jail window, dialogue with Doc. I recorded your muttering. Maybe I said that when I first walked up and I didn't catch it. And then it says walk over to Emmett, who is making rounds between law offices and court. Interact with Emmett, and it should say dialogue H equals the Hamiltonian operator. That should be my first response. So maybe I just. Get right up on him, and I don't press X, and it'll automatically talk. God. Oh, nice! There's a run! Will you just give me a chance? Yeah. Harassment's a federal crime, Mr. Crockett! Let's see here. Ooh, here we go. Here we go. Maybe H equals the Hamiltonian Got operator. It. What did you just say? I said maybe H equals the Hamiltonian operator. Yeah. Great Scott. If H is the Hamiltonian, then H to the A multiplied by the inverse of Hip H. to the hapa and you just don't stop uh... for A. <laughs> That's it. That's the solution to Ivanov's conundrum, the problem I've been wrestling with in my head all week. I'm sure you would have figured it out by yourself in a day or two. The way you figured out how to build that rocket power drill. Where did you learn so much about science? I read a lot. Well, it's like this. You know about my rocket power drill, then there can only be one explanation. What? You're from the patent office. I confess I didn't quite know what to expect when I sent the paperwork, but I never expected this. Wowzers! I'm at Great service. Scott. What can I do for you? Uh, let's see here. I really need your rocket drill. Can I see your rocket power drill? Of course, of course. Naturally, it's just a scale model, but it's nearly operational. I can show it to you, say, first thing in the morning. Now, that's no good. I need to see a full-size model. <gasps> that's fully operational. <gasps> Tonight. <gasps> Otherwise, we'll have to award the patent to a competing inventor, uh, Dr. McCoy. It can't be done! I mean, it might be possible to construct a full-size working model in that time frame, but I haven't got the main ingredient for the fuel! I'll get it for you. What is it? 190 proof Ooh. green alcohol! And you know how That's difficult a spicy it is to get a hold of alcohol these days. Especially now that someone's blown up the speakeasy. And besides, there's no way I can get off work until I've delivered the subpoena. Part of the investigation into the business affairs of Kid Tannen. Is it vitally important you see that rocket power drill today? Yes. Is it vitally important you deliver that subpoena today? Yes! Listen, I'll help you deliver it, and I'll see to what you get the alcohol you need. <laughs> It'll help you get that drill finished by Should tonight. Should be a trophy, Deal? Deal. Here's the subpoena. Arthur McFly? I've got a subpoena Sweet. my grandpa. <gasps> it's Kid Tannen. Booyaka show! Hey, I, I just saw him at the soup kitchen yelling at Arthur McFly. Now we got. Now we got to go mess Arthur with him. The books for his business. 
What kind of business? That's what the DA is trying to find out. Let's go talk to him. No! Why not? Kid Tannen can tell us where Arthur's hiding. Yeah, well, he can also have us fitted for a Chicago overcoat. Gotta get my jog on. Gotta get them steps in. Go talk to this. Hey, hey! What the hell, Matches? You, you got Kiwi all over my socks! Sorry, boss. Get out of here. How about you? Instagram! Huh? I'm sitting at a shoe shine booth. You walk up. Either you're here to shine my shoes, or you got a death wish. Death wish. Which is it? Uh, definitely not death wish. <laughs> wax on, wax off. Wax on, wax off. What's your record? I'm looking for a guy named Arthur McFly. You don't He's know what a subpoena is? Uh, sort it's of like a, a document that requires you to employee. report to the courts. He's very busy today. Definitely not something you want to get. Wasn't that Arthur McFly's hat you're holding? It was McFly. Yes, hat. we're gonna try to hundred percent this game for sure. We. <laughs> I have some peanuts. Why not? I'm a magnanimous, a magnanimous? guy. Go ahead. Knock yourself out. <laughs> uh... Hey, kid. Yeah? What the hell is that? Slew! Hey! What did you do? Oh... <clears throat> Uh -oh. Give me that hat, you lousy crook! Poo poo. Emmett. Is he getting poo pooed? Look at them moves. He's got moves like hey. Jagger. Uh oh, look out! No! Next time, gadget. Next time. Nobody makes a monkey out of Kid Tannen. Oh, he got hey. poo pooed! <laughs> ah, that's hilarious. Never fails. Ow, Generations doesn't matter what time frame. He always gets oh nine eight seven, huh? Woo! Where do you learn how to move like that? Sandlot football. They used to call me the streak. Get out. Uh, yes, yes, you can come get your water. Hopefully she heard me. It's right there. Yep. Are you guys leaving? Yeah, I am. Where are you going? Oh, yeah. Never mind. <laughs> Where is she going? She's got to go to work. All right. Let's go ahead and see if he recognizes this, huh? Hurf, hurf. Hey, honey. Come here for a sec, boy. Hey, boy. Can you find the guy who belongs to this hat? Where is he going? Only one way to find out. Pew! Look at us go. Nobody's calling Brian a chicken. Not today. We're almost done with page three, though. And page seven is really, really short. So we're definitely halfway through here. So let's see here. we got to find ourselves... What is that? Okay, so we got Emmett, Einstein, and Unknown. I'm going to go ahead and assume that's what we need to interact with. Yeah? Who is it? It's McFly! Shh, I know! Hey, Arthur. Can you come down a minute? Do I know you... I'm your grand, uh, mother's great nephew. <laughs> it was you the wife. my second cousin? She popped up here to yeah. grab her water bottle. Glad to know you, but I can't leave this building till the boss says so. He's given strict orders. Sorry. Some other time. Uh... 
back on over so we got to go find kid tannin on the north side and interact with him and that will conclude page three Gotta get my jog on. Gotta get my jog on. Uh, no. How about no? So let's see here. Well, well, look who's back. They say rats always return to the scene of the sinking ship. Uh, get him, Matches. What? And he can't hop over? What? Uh, those young, youthful legs, I guess. Look what I can do! Come down from there, Look you... what I can do! Son of a bitch! Language. Right now! What do you think you're doing up there, you scrawny little runt? Get down here right now! Don't make me angry, Smucko! Get down here and I face don't want to the record music. them right now. What? You can't get away that easy. Nobody puts one over on Kid Tannen and lives to tell about it. You're dead. I don't want to record them right now. To... Better start composing your epitaph. So let's see here. I did, that was Kid Tannen, right? Like now, because I'm gonna carve it into your face. Keep doing it. In both. What do you think you're doing up there, you <laughs> scrawny little runt? Get down here right now. You're only making it worse for yourself. The longer you stay up there, the longer I'm gonna take evacuating your guts. Eviscerating. That's what I said. So <laughs> if you're not. All right, so I, I tried to. What do you think you're doing up there, you scrawny little runt? Get down here right now! So it says to interact there, with Einstein, bitch. but right now. it says it doesn't want to record, record, record right so what if I, like, uh, how do I put nothing there? Don't make me angry, smucko! All right, there we go. Get Einstein! Said to help! The equip Deep. Get away from Get me, you crazy mutt. Go, go away, dog. We're busy here. Go on, scram. Hey, where'd he go? You let him get away, idiot. All right, so I gotta go back over this way. Find the exit out of here. I gotta go back to, uh, we'll watch out for them cars. I think it's this way. No, I gotta go, I have to go by the police station again. Cause we had to run by old Emmett once before. Old Emmett, that is. Okay, come on, keep it going now. Exit to Arthur's. I gotta go back to the buzzer now. Bzz, 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 bzz. It's not over yet, Loki, we gotta, we got some more interaction with him yet. Now. What do you think you're doing up there, you scrawny little runt? Get down here right now! It's kid! Right away, boss! Ah, uh, where's kid? Uh, let's see here. So now we gotta use the subpoena. Alright. Arthur McFly? Yeah? Got something for you. Thanks. Grandpa just got served! A subpoena! <laughs> Ordering you to appear uh. in court and provide evidence in the investigation into... Kid Tannen? Take it back! You can't get rid of it, Mr. McFly. Once you've been served, it's your duty to report to the court at the earliest possible time. Failure to do so could lead to a warrant for your arrest. Busted. Arrest! But Kid will kill me. Stupid, stupid Artie! Holy cats, what am I gonna do? I suggest you avail yourself to the protection of the court. 
Oh gosh, oh gosh. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Grandpa just got served. All right, now we need to go back to the middle of town square. Oh, I Fine. hate doing and stuff now. like that. But I won't There's have been thunderstorms in some parts of the UK. No? Nice. Once we get that 190, I, I actually really enjoy drill, thunderstorms. My drill, my Paz was telling me yesterday in Florida they were having some pretty gnarly ones too. Job. Oh, right. All right, let's go see if we can find Edna and speak to her because we gotta basically tell her all the news that we've caught up with. She's over on the left hand side. Gotta gotta update. Oh, there's that. isn't that her? No, that's not her. That's somebody else. There she is, Edna. Hey, uh, Miss Strickland. Oh, hello, Mr. Crockett. Try not to draw any undue attention my way. I'm on the trail of a hot new scoop, as we in the newspaper business say. All right, so what's the scoop, yo? What's the scoop? I've heard rumors that something shady is going on at the Sisters of Mercy soup kitchen. It's under new management, you know. And, oh, we mustn't jump to any conclusions. Not till the facts are in. Why don't we make like a tree and get out of here? The kitchen is the front line in the good fight. If it goes bad, what will happen to the Stay Sober Society? Not to mention all the charitable institutions that depend on me for soup deliveries. Wait, wait, wait. You make the soup deliveries? You make hot soup deliveries? It's one of my many small contributions to the good cause. Healthy bodies, healthy souls. Or so one hopes. I pick up barrels of hot soup at the kitchen, and I deliver them hither and thither. Hill Valley Orphanage, the St. Francis Xavier Ranch for Unwanted Children, Foggy Mountain Home for the Incurably Insane, Shady Acres Rest Home. Oh, I can barely keep Shady track of them all. Shady Acres is the job. place to be. I, I feel like we should offer our services. Is that... maybe? Hey, I can help you deliver soup. I don't need a lot of time to charities. Oh? Which ones? The, um... Mario Brothers. <laughs> ah, yes. The Italians do so many good works. If you'll just fix it so I can pick up the barrels yeah, of soup. Could you imagine now, if I didn't have all this help? Like, from you guys, either. and, like, all the town, specific and things, and like, equipping and how you talk. Like, just the way that the process is is kind of confusing, but uh, knowing all the right answers and all that's yeah. actually helpful. And I don't know if these answers are relevant. Like, it might not be... There, there may be only one way to answer these, and it may... Most of them may not be relevant. Um, you know, I mean, we may be able to ask, you know, like, what's the Stay Sober Society? What's the Stay Sober Society? <laughs> you haven't heard of the, the SSS? They do the most marvelous work, taking hopeless, drunken bums Monica and Geller, turning them huh? into Who's Monica former Geller? hopeless, drunken bums. I'm one of the founding Monica members. Monica Geller. And not to say that I was ever, a well, that... you know. Anyway, we've hmm. always met in the cellar of the Sisters of Mercy Soup Kitchen. But for some reason, the new managers don't want us down there, so we're stuck. We've got nowhere to meet. Let's see here. Well, we've got an idea. I know a place where the Stay Sober Society can meet. Oh, where? It shames me to say this, but. Oh, wait, we got. Oh, we got McFly's apartment, too. We could go. Let's go to the Brown residence. The Brown residence? You mean Judge Brown's place? Yeah, I happen to be good friends with his son, Emmett. And he's told me the judge would love to lend his place up for. You know, good causes like yours. Really? Why, that's the most generous, public-spirited offer I've received in a month of Sundays. In a month of Sundays. Please, this game came out in 2010. So nine while, years so ago. Gary! Gary's here from physical therapy! What's up, Jari? Did it go well? Uh, let's see here. What about the other story? No, that's not what we want. We want to exit the conversation. Let's go ahead and peace out! Deuces! Oh, where? Gotta go to the west side of town now, over to... Wait, to the soup kitchen. Going to the poop kitchen, the poop kitchen. Uh, let's see here. You mean you played the game as I did in 2010 when it was new? No, I did not play it. The game came out then. I didn't play it then. Uh, I Actually, I did. I played a, a little bit of it. I, I got... I, I honestly, I know I got to this part. Like, I remember being able to walk around and, and the dog being here. But I don't think I was ever smart enough to equip, like, the hat and show Einstein and that. Like, I never got that far. And that's what frustrated me. I was like, I don't know what to do. I, I, I don't like this game. It's so primitive. And, of course, I bashed the game and then moved on and deleted it. So I, I technically have it for PS3, too. So I might be able to go back and play it on that. Um, let's see here. Uh, hey, Reese, are you watching the stream? If you are, come up here. 
Come up here. I got a question for you. Um, let's see here. Where are we at? We have to go to the soup kitchen. Uh, and then we have to interact with the soup kitchen door. All right. Knock, knock. Walk to the left into the back area near the phone. Q-Ball. What? The truck just arrived with a fresh shipment of, uh, soup. Soup? Soup? Well, uh, this is the regular soup, and this is the... The special, special soup, soup. Huh? Ooh. Right. Special. Alright, looks like we got kitchen duty here. I keep thinking I hear him coming up, but he, I don't think he's doing? watching. I'm spicing up the soup. It's my secret recipe. Listen, this ain't the Savoy, and we ain't here to feed these bozos no fancy soup. The boss has got a business to rebuild, so knock off the goofing and mind your post. All right, all right, just try the soup. Well? Uh, I can see why you want to keep this a secret. All right, so we got to go back over here by the phone. Nothing to see here, dude. Uh-oh. Oh, interesting. A little secret. Oh. Uh, interesting. That guy's got good skills flipping those barrels. Like, I think I feel like he would do really well on the bottle flip challenge. All right, uh, all right. The suspense is gonna have to hold you for a second, cause I gotta go. I gotta. Go. I, I'll be right back. Be right back. Gary, keep him busy in the chat. Keep him busy in the chat. All right, I is back. Sorry about that. I had to check out and see if Reese was here or not. I knew my wife had left. I didn't know if he was here. It was freaking me out because I kept hearing something, but I wasn't sure. Uh, but I got nothing, of course. All right, let's see here. So next, we need to uh, interact with the kitchen door. It looks like. Uh. Uh. No way I'm going to keep that door open without some help. Huddle up, Emmett. Huddle? Just listen up for a second. <sighs> I feel like we need to get into that kitchen, right? Emmett, I can't get into the door over there. Those tables are jamming it shut. The door? So your plan is to just waltz in there and take a barrel of alcohol? Uh, no. Of course not. That would be stupid, right? I'll say. Still, I'd like to get that door open. I can't do anything from out here. Well, it's a simple matter of physics. A lever, some sort of stop. Let me see what I can come up with. What's up, Breeze? All right, so we got to go. Let him think. Mm 
Eureka! Bowl of crummy soup. Emmett. Yes? Uh. Oh, whoops. We'll score that hooch somehow. I'll keep cogitating. They're supposed to be. There we go, Emmett's invention. Old Doc Jr.'s thingamabob holds out. All right. Uh, t -t 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 walk back to the counter. Interact with the bowl of crummy soup. Uh, excuse me. Yeah. Can I have a bowl of soup? We're a soup kitchen. What do you think? Nice. I feel like we're gonna have a dodgy tum now. Uh, what kind of soup is this? It, it tastes like scroll a ribolita. I was gonna say weak old cabbage. Everyone's a critic. Look, all I got to work with is this two bit soup in a barrel and spice rack that hadn't been restocked since the Coolidge administration. What do you think I should do to perk this slop up? Let's see. Have you tried mm. chili powder? Giving this a little, soup a little spice. heat, maybe? Why is it getting cold? No, I, I mean like chili powder. Muy. Oh, bit of a tough guy, huh? Actually, I like it spicy too, but it's gotta be edible for the common folks. Come on, a little dash isn't gonna kill anyone. Ah, oh, heck, you got moxie, kid. Let's spice it up a bit, shall we? Ding, ding, ding. <clears throat> ah, Miss Strickland, come for some more soup? Uh -oh. Come now, Mr. Donnelly. You She's know I get the wrong one foot juice. In this mockery of all that is good and decent if the poor of Hill Valley weren't so dependent on Mr. Tennant's overblown show of generosity. <laughs> is that a yes? Just give me the soup before I gag <clears throat> on the hypocrisy. Wrong barrel. Yoinks. I'll tell the boss you said hello. I'll just bet you will. And it picked up the barrel of hooch. Now all we have to do is to get it from her somehow. So let's see. We've got a bounce. Last chance to free roam the town and explore. If there's anything else I'd like to do, I should do it now, is the suggestion. Hey Reese, demon saying what up? I don't know if you're still looking at the chat or not, but So we gotta go to the center of town. Let's go get that from Edna. Edna. Play Edna. Could you maybe hook us up with that barrel? Hey, uh, Miss Strickland. Oh, hello, Mr. Crockett. I'm afraid I haven't much time. The meeting of the Stay Sober Society is due to begin very soon. Ooh, cheeky. As a matter of fact, I do know a local charity that's running low on soup. Oh, who? The Stay Sober Society. That's right. They'll soon be gathering at the Brown Estate, and we haven't provided refreshments. I can't get over the generosity of your friend Emmett, volunteering his father's house for our meeting. Huh? Oh, wait there! Sonny! What in the name of Thomas Alva Edison do you think you're doing? Don't you get it? You need alcohol to run your drill, right? Those bootleggers at the soup kitchen won't let us get our hands on any of their hooch. But we can get Miss Strickland to pick it up for us and deliver it right to your door. No, out of the question. Why? I can't just let strangers invade my parents' house. What do we know about these people? Well, they're well behaved. They're sober. They're sober. It says so right in the name. Well, 
Okay, but a pop needs his peace and quiet at the end of the day. This meeting is sure to be too noisy for him. Hopefully they'll be quiet. They'll be quiet. You'll be quiet, right? Oh yes. <laughs> yeah, I no play doubt. Tambourine very softly. Gary's yeah, totally right. Yes, but. But what? But it's still impossible. Uh, uh oh. Interesting. This is not. Oh wait. Psych. Psych. Okay, Psych. Forget the whole thing. We don't have to test your rocket power drill tonight. Guess no. what? No, I'll take the train back. We to got the Austria. junior bootlegger badge. New trophy should pop. Wait. You will instruct the members of the society to wipe their feet before they come inside. Then you mm -hmm. are Emmett Brown. I thought as much. You have such a righteous face. Ooh. Edna Strickland. I don't know how to thank you for your generosity. Oh, I'm uh, pleased to meet you. The feeling is mutual. I've got a bad feeling about this. Now you worry too much, Emmett. Well, we've served the subpoena and gotten a barrel of booze delivered to your house. Looks like we're off to your lab to build your rocket drill. Ah, uh, you do have a lab, right? What kind of future patent holder would I be without a lab? Come on. So it looks like there's three more trophies for this Doc. episode. I'm off to get the rocket. But this drill. next section gets a little squirrely, so uh, on, Jay and Demon, I'm gonna no definitely lab. need your help. But the problem is we got that delay too. So um, I know that. So so there's these machines, and every time they need activated, it's random. Are you sure so we have to wait work? for Emmett's Emmett? cues. Don't let the and he'll say them loudly in the subtitles. They will list it in all capitals. Okay, so of... that's kind of a key right there. Let's go ahead and turn these guys on. So, uh, so you must get every command correct without messing up. If you mess up, we have to restart. So we'll have to immediately pause it, save, and load. Well, and what... Is this where I'm at, though? Town Square, 1135. Wow, that's a while ago. All right, so I don't know that I like this. Um, so maybe if I just quit the game, rather, because if I reload, it's going to take me back a good 20, 20 minutes or so. Because um, it says, let's see here, save. I mean, I wonder if I can save. Could save the game right here, right? Maybe. Sorry, you cannot save right now. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, oh, this is the worst in the game. Yeah. Um, so this is where I get. I, I, I'm going to read all of this real quick and just kind of figure out what's going on here. Uh, Emmett will come down the stairs and inform you when you have 25, 50, and 75% marks. The speed of which the queue comes increases the further you are. Beware that about halfway through, Emmett's father will begin shouting similar cues. Ignore those and focus only on the ones said by Emmett. So, all right, so this is where it gets, so, so like, there's a cue. Like, he's going to either say fire, burning, hot, flame, or bellowing, and that's stoke fire. Uh, I wonder if I, I should be able to pause it each time, right? Um, and then there's the sprinkle bacteria food. Eating food, my so shake, fed, scattered. Man, release gaseous pressure. Release valve pressure. Bladders, release. Bags of gas, vent. We also have more. We also have turn electrical crank. So, so there's... Stoke the fire, sprinkle bacteria, release gaseous pressure, and turn electrical crank. Each one of those uh, possibilities or actions has 7 to 12 different cues. Uh, watch out for those cues. Then when the machine associated with them then occur in a random order, remember, once you finish the sequence, Emmett will come down to talk to you. Uh, then the one line of dialogue, and then we get fuel master. If we did the fuel mixing sequence without failing and jailbreak for just completing it. So it's important that we get this right. So I'm hoping, 
Hey, what's up, James? Welcome to the stream! Joe, what is up? Welcome to the stream as well! Uh, I mean, if you fail, you should just restart the section. Yeah, but it, but it, it, as it sits right now, I don't know that I'll be able to start... I think I'll have to go way back and have to play a lot of that town... The center of town area again, just based on my save. But I, I don't know for sure. Maybe I'll get it all right. Maybe, maybe I can just pause it after every queue, right? Great. Uh, how? Well, it's very simple. This crankshaft induces a powerful direct current into the electrolysis chamber, producing hydrogen, which must be periodically released into the primary distillation barrel. While tending to the hydrogen, we'll also need to regularly sprinkle these shredded protein flakes into this aquarium of tuber bacteria to generate the necessary nitrogen to catalyze the reaction. Cool. Oh, hot. Extremely hot. The temperature of the reaction must be kept at a steady temperature of 623 degrees Kelvin by carefully pumping these bellows. Any questions? Um, let's see here. Uh, uh, hey, why is there a brace of drunkards gathering on our lawn? Sweet fancy Moses, it's my father. So, so he doesn't know. The problem with that demon is that there's the here. delay. So, he what you see right, and what I see box. are still delayed. Uh, um, reaction, which is a problem that Gary and I often Tenton, have too. What? Can't we just start over after he's gone? It's too late. The reaction's already started. Don't worry. I'll try to help you out where I can. But Amen. Uh, coming, father. Father. Don't you? So I should be able to pause it in between each of these. Okay, so I got bacteria, stoke fire, pressure. So there's only three, right? All right. So, uh, all right. So there may already be cues coming. So we got to pay attention right away. Um, Stoke fire. So there's four of them, though. I'm only seeing three. Stoke fire, least gaseous pressure, and then there's the electrical switch, too. So, all right. Okay, so now we're starting. Have a good trip, Joe. Safe travels. Listen to the words I'm emphasizing. Don't you turn your back on me. Okay, spark is going to be. It's got to be. Yep, it turns the electrical crank. Okay. Spark out of laws and statutes. Got it. All right. Eating. That's gonna be sprinkle bacteria. Father, but I wish it would go on a diet. Okay. Pressuring is gonna be the pressure valve. Okay, gaseous pressure. To be something I'm not. All right, so far so good. Excellent. Now twist the valve there. Great. We're nice. about a quarter of the way home. Damn it! Get back here! Oops. Flame is going to be stoke fire. Side me that cannot be quelled by your legalistic gobbledygook. Your burps. Excuse me. Pressure you know is going to be the gas again, right? Yep. Pressure I'm under. Fire is going to be stoke fire. Okay. Her pop? I don't know either, but you can be damn sure it wasn't a lawyer. You're going to find out. Feed is going to be. Oh, interesting. So feed is not listed here. Fed is eating food, shake. That it's got to be sprinkle bacteria though. It's got to be because there's no. The no. ducks, father. Hot is gonna be stoke fire. Under the collar, pop. Nice. Uh, halfway there. Damn it! Keep up the good work. You 
For scientists, men like you would still be in the future with sheep's bladder. Release gas is pressure. Pressure? You're a child and you don't know anything about pressure. <laughs> Microorganism, it's gotta be fruit again. Sprinkle back to her. Microorganism for long. Have been what did I miss in the, the beginning, Loki? Since God's heavenly spark first gave rise to man, Emmett. He spoke. And said spark. Do I need to... It said ignore the dad, right? Emmett's father will be able to... Okay, ignore those and focus only on the ones that Emmett is saying. So nothing from Emmett. Or, or only from Emmett. Okay. You have a a release is that him? On your that, mouth that, that was, the, that was the Emmett, right? So release... release are you trying to spin this argument around to my failings? Hot air is going to be... Well, wait a minute. Hot could be stoke fire. Hot air. Vent. I'm going to go with stoke fire. Air. There. I said it. Although they feeding you in that school of yours. You look like a skeleton. Food is going to be sprinkle bacteria. Food for thought, Pop. It's gruel. Release is going to be gaseous pressure. Release me from your unattainable expectations. Your ancestors are almost there. Emmet! Coming, Father! I should just get struck by lightning. Would that make you happy? Call a room full of lawyers. Lightning. Is, is that is that the dad though, or is that Emmett? I couldn't tell. It's got. He was younger. It's got to be Emmett. I'm gonna go with it. Lightning is turn electrical crank. Trapped in a burning building. A good start. Oh. I messed up, huh? I messed it up. I missed eating at the beginning, did I? Nice to see you, Joe. That's what you missed in the beginning. He came back in because you missed eating at the beginning. And yes, ignore the dad. Damn it. So I messed up on that one. I gotta... Oh, no. No, are you kidding me? Continue. Hopefully this will be right where it is. Well, I wasn't sure who it was. Yeah, I did see it. What? Uh oh. All right, here we go. Can't you see this is? So is that is that the dad though, or is that Emmett? Ding me up inside. Yeah, it was Emmett. All right. Okay. Have a release valve on release your release is going to be yeah pressure gas is pressure dang it that's why it's a pain yeah no doubt no doubt spark is gonna be uh, electricity turn electrical crank spark out of laws and statutes Excellent. Now twist the valve there. Great. We're about Sweet. a quarter of the way home. Damn it! Get back here! Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're going to find out. No idea. Pressure what kind of is the valve again. Pressure I'm under. Otter, Otter is going to be stoke fire, right? It's got to be. I know I'm right. But Bags of gas. Release pressure. Bags of gas. You're going to find out when we get older. Oh, they 
be your burning passion, Father. Burning Buddy. passion is going to be fire, right? It's got to be. It is not mine. Uh, Emmett doesn't want to go back. Get back here. What? Emmett doesn't want to get back here. Uh, yeah, I can't. And sometimes I can't. But the way the, they're, the way they express their voice, uh, you know, he's kind of disgruntled and angry and old. But there's definitely similarities in their voices, and I just want to make sure I get it right. All right, next up. Shock is gonna be the switch. It's gotta be turn electrical crank. Do you pop? No! No! Ah! I got button happy. Dang it, what a noob. <laughs> oh, man. Third time's a charm, boys and girls. Third time's a charm. Whoopsie. All right. Food for thought, Pop. It's gruel. Have a release valve on your mouth somewhere. Damn. All right, I'm not focusing on that anymore. I'm focusing on this. Is it my fault if I don't get a spark out of laws and statutes? Excellent. Now twist the valve there. Great. We're about a quarter of the way home. Damn it! Get back here! Ooh. Go feed the ducks, father. Hotter you get, the more I know I'm right. Why won't you release me from your unattainable expectations? You're going to find out that when you get older. Eating you, father, but I wish it would go on a diet. are nothing but overblown bags of gas. Ah, halfway there. Emmett! Keep up the, the good plan. work. <laughs> what use is a microorganism? Micro That's food, right? Yes. Organism for long. That's all the Feeding you in that school of yours. You look like a skeleton. You I have no idea what kind of pressure I'm under. Oh, mother, and I are shocked at your behavior, young man. I don't get to control my life just fed because... Fed me? You... It's gotta be... Yeah. You fed and clothed me for 17 years. Burn your bridges so cavalierly, my son. Oh, who invented fire, Pop? I don't know either, but you can be damn sure it wasn't a lawyer. Father, why don't you ever listen to me? Shut me! I sure... Why don't you ever listen to me? That's not one of them, right? Yeah. Why don't you ever listen to me and then... Pressure me. Okay, 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 okay. Something I'm not. Okay, the flame is gonna be... Inside me that cannot be quelled by your gobbly gook. gobbly gook, father. Seventy-five percent. Emmet, coming, father. You may come as a shock to you, Pop, but not everyone wants to be a lawyer. Um, what? What? Room full of law where? Where's my lawyers trapped in a burning building? Oh, a good start. It's not burning building. Should I honor your wishes? You treat me like common bacteria. Wait, you really want to vent our dirty laundry in public like this? Oh, maybe your burning passion, Father, but it is not mine. Don't you see this is eating me up inside? One great thing ever What's generated? generated by a... Okay, electrical crank, okay. Lawyers are nothing but overblown bags of gas. Being such a crank! How many times do I have to prove Bag myself of gas. before I can shake your crank. overbearing criticisms? I have no 
Shake is what? Shake is... Shake isn't any? Oh, shake is feed and then pressure. So I got feed and then pressure. I think I got him. What? This isn't over, young man. Whew. We'll find out. Are you okay? You and your dad sounded. It was an argument we should have had a long time ago. We. No. Did I mess it up? Or is this how it goes? Eureka! Now all we gotta do is fuel up the old rocket power drill, and you and, and I can. I so cross your fingers. Can go. But don't you want to test it first? No time. The, uh, the the last train for DC leaves in just a few minutes. All right. You've got to get this baby to the U.S. Patent Office. Uh, exactly. So tell me, Sonny, when can I expect to hear back from the Patent Office? Oh, in about... Cross your fingers, I got them both. We're supposed to get them right now. I can't. Huh? Fuel Master, followed by I'm Jailbreak. A, I'm not from the patent office. I don't understand. I, I, I lied to you. But I, I didn't want to. It was just... It was the only way I can get you to trust me. See, there's... Uh, somebody who's in big trouble. Uh, someone very important to me. To, to both of us. Uh, I can't tell you who, but... I need to save him tonight, and, and I need your invention to do it. All right. If we see Fuel Master, we're good. Jailbreak. I'll get it back to you, I promise. And, Emmett, you're going to be a great inventor. Fuel Master. Fuel Master. Fuel Master. Fuel Master. Fuel Master. Fuel master? Wait! Keep the throttle at about eight. Thanks, boy. Fuel master! Jailbreak! Okay, Doc, Jailbreak! Got the Let's get you out of here. Jailbreak? Come on, start. So I got the fuel master. I should be good on the jailbreak. Maybe that'll pop after this cutscene. Sunny! Ah! You're too late! Too late? The doc's not supposed to be. Moving him to another facility for safekeeping. Oh, I better go get a quote from the police chief. <laughs> oh. Paddy wagon intercept. It's like, why is that not there? And they're still after him. How am I gonna rescue him now? Yeah, it, it is. I was saying that the other day. I was saying that the other day, Gary, but because in order oh, you might not have been here for that. Maybe you were maybe. they had to so the people who had bought it previously and owned it they removed it from the store and for some reason minecraft story mode was not available to download even to the people who bought it so in order for them to make it available they had to put the game back available for sale and in order to do that they didn't want to sell any copies so they put them at a hundred dollars because they didn't think that people would actually buy them for a hundred dollars an episode when they were normally five dollars an episode so they put them there for like one or two days or something but it ended up being um, you know, it's, it's all gone now, but it was literally for the purpose of people being able to re-download the games they've already purchased, not for people to buy them. So, kind of interesting. So, let's see, we need to, uh, let's interact with this guy, see what's up. Hmm, 
At least the rocket part came out of this one piece. No, that, that, it has nothing to do with that. It was literally a licensing agreement, and they were trying to prevent people from buying it again because the license agreement was expired, but in order for the people to get the games, they had to have the game uploaded to the store. And some sort of weird policy with the store is the game can't just be there for download. It has to be available for sale. So they put an astronomical version. They'll fix it. There'll be an update to the store or something soon, and uh, it, it'll be it'll be gone if it hasn't already. Yeah, some of them are definitely on delay. Well, it made sense, though, too, that I didn't get the jailbreak until I broke the side of that open, right? I'm getting a random call right now. Boy, my phone is lit up. I've got, like, 35 notifications across the top of my phone. Like, it's crazy. Like, look. Look at all those notifications all the way across the top. All right, I'm coming I don't know who back. that is. Probably a telemarketer calling me right now. Transition between the back doors and moving to armored vehicle. All right, so we're getting close to the end, guys. In fact, we only have a handful of things left to do. Like, probably 10 more minutes would be, I guess, 10, 15 more minutes. Yeah, it probably is on eBay for a lot. I don't think anybody's going to buy it, though. But you never know. It's a walk, move, right? Interact with the antenna. we got to find the antenna. Marty, you're still in danger, Doc. We've got to get you out of here. What's that? I said, you're still in danger! Never mind, never mind! Get me out of here, and we'll talk later! Alright. Where's the antenna? There's a rear window. Is that the antenna? There we go. Toolbox down there, it looks like. We can find something in there, perhaps. Mm, could be. And then let's uh, move left. Spare tire. Really? doing here keys how do I get them go go gadget arms Distraction. Leave it to me. Hey, hey, driver. You're driving too fast. Watch how you take those curves. What are you trying to Jeez. do? Oops. Kill me. Not quick Jeez. enough. Whoops. So wait a minute. What's going on here? So I messed up. Dang it. Let's see if I can get him to do that distraction again. Can you distract him again? No problem. Hey, hey, so I need to, there we go. Get that antenna going back again. I demand to know where you're taking me. And how long is it? I object to your tone of voice, and I find this seat distinctly uncomfortable. You have a pillow I can sit on. Hey, I'm talking to you, driver. Don't ignore me. You! Uh -huh. Thanks, Doc. I guess that's why they this call you the street. I always thought it was a different reason. I have my sources. <laughs> Like how I parked my uh, bike right there. Oh, I should have equipped the key first. They're locked. Oh no! Stand back, Doc. Marty. Oh.
eat lead, Sagan. Ow! Son of a bitch. Uh. we need now. And that's all she wrote for episode one, guys! sorts of bizarre repercussions my younger self's invention of a flying bicycle will have on the timeline. Did you know that would happen? Yeah. I had yeah. a suspicion. I never could keep those rockets from exploding. Okay, man, he's calmed down. So, what do we do now? I'll get back to 1986 before our interactions with the past inevitably cascade into a calamitous future. Where'd you leave Einstein? Uh, Doc? He's not in the pound, is he? No, uh, but I think we've got bigger problems mm. right now. Great Scott! Oh, snap to be continued! Alright guys, that is actually the end of episode one. I was kind of concerned that things weren't going to go as I would hope they would without Gary in my ear, but it worked out rather smoothly. A bicycle built for two. So it looks like we get a little preview of next time, What's which happening? we'll be playing episode know. two on Friday, this Friday at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So be looking for that. Hey, fellas. All right, McFly. Let's go see the boss. History says Tanner will be arrested by a rookie cop by the name of Danny Parker. I fear that nothing will save Hill Valley from descending into the fires of chaos and corruption. Nothing is over until Kid Tannen Ooh. says it's over. Get Tannen. All right, nice. Looks like that's the name of the next episode. Get Tannen. Now, uh, yeah, that actually is going to wrap it up for today. So uh, look at that. We get all the cast here. So it wasn't the original cast that is brought back. However, the original scene, the first scene that we watched, it seemed like that was directly cut from the movie. So hopefully that won't be any copyrighted material or anything like that. But uh, hey, guys, I had a blast. I hope you guys did too. We saw a ton of people in the very beginning of this stream, way more than we have in, in recent streams. And there always seems to be that flux. Like there's always a couple of extra people when we start a new game. So we might start switching games up. That was actually one of Loki's suggestions that maybe we do like Monday is this game, Wednesday is this game, and Friday is that game. You know, and see maybe some of you show up more on certain days than others. I don't know. Uh, still looking for that feedback. I know I don't have a, a, a good card to uh, give me some feedback on, but we'll get to that. Uh, the next few days is all about playing catch up and getting out of my hole that I've dug myself into. But once I get out of that, I'm going to be good to go and we'll be ahead of things and we'll be able to keep on keeping on. So keep in mind that tomorrow we will be live on HTG TV at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Not exactly sure what we're going to be playing, but we will be playing something. Uh, I have an idea of what it is. It's a very mature game, kind of from my childhood. There's a new one out that I believe comes out today. I'll have to check it out. I'll have to check it out. Uh, but yeah, check us out tomorrow. Check us out on Friday. Thanks to everybody for hanging out. Thanks to, uh, well, I guess it was, was it... Was it you, Damon, that suggested the uh, walkthrough over on PS Trophies or what? Anyways, thanks to Jay for helping out. Thanks to Damon for helping out. Uh, and, of course, uh, everybody else for hanging out and watching 
that is going to go ahead and wrap things up for me though you know the drill head on over to any of our social media pages that can be found down below in the video description we've had all sorts of nice fancy pop-ups and stuff too like this nice fancy subscribe button oh it doesn't work that's right i got the layers all oh, wrong but anyways uh much love guys as always until next time